Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to look at birds. First, let's come over here. Get a simple chair such as one of these right here. Like a simple chair that you can just set up on any normal camping trip. This one folds down into a small group of bars and then you can just put it together very, very easy. Then you want a, a, a simple bird book. Don't get like an expensive one. Just a simple bird book will do you just fine. And then also what you want is binoculars. You, can, you don't have to buy extremely expensive binoculars. Just any binoculars will work. Unless they're like super teeny and they don't do much, of course. Um, right now, we, we're we gonna look for birds and I'm gonna show you how to do it more, very simple. Earlier today, we saw a big bald eagle and we've also seen many hummingbirds today. So let's go, I'll show you how to do it. So what you wanna do is have your bird book at the ready. You wanna sit down in the chair and then you wanna open up the binoculars. So what, once you open up the binoculars, there's sometimes a binocular that would come with a rag where you can clean the lenses with. Then you want to lift the binoculars out carefully because you can break the lenses and scratch them very easily. So you want to take these cases off and these binoculars came with cases. And then if you want to, then, then you just look around and you want to eventually just look up into a tree and if you see movement bring the binoculars to your eyes and rest them here don't push too hard and then you just look at the bird but this is sometimes it will be blurry so you use this gear sometimes it's just a spinning thing that you just spin it and it changes but this one you want to bend it back and forth to change how the lenses look so first we're, let's let's look and let's see if we can see uh, any normal birds so, okay, so I just saw a bird fly through the sky over there and it's on that tree. So what I wanna do is, if, is I wanna pull the binoculars up to my eyes, adjust it, and then look, find, try to find that bird. If you can't find it, oh well, you may, might see it late, later. I just lost that bird. But also, you could sometimes just see hummingbirds. You can set up bird feeders if you want to and they'll just come to the feeder and just, you can look straight at it. I mean, you out here in the wilderness, you can see any bird, except if it's like a bird that's like from Australia and then you can't see it. Um, of course though, if you do see a bird, you wanna analyze the bird and of its color, and then you want to look into the table of contents and, well, no, you don't wanna do that. You just wanna scroll through this book and see if you can find all of these birds. This bird book, it's called Birds of Montana. It's very s simple, and it gives you all the facts about different types of birds. Cedar waxwing, white crowned sparrow, lark sparrow. We, that bald eagle that we saw, it's like, it's very common in Montana. Well, it's not that common because it's a very rare and beautiful bird, but it just swooped down straight from that the sky and swoops right through. So, to, right now, let's just keep keep looking. We're not gonna look for too long because I this is once again it's raw footage, so we, I don't want to have you guys waiting forever because I don't know how to edit just yet. I've just started this channel, so right now we just just scroll your eyes around and look up into the trees and try to find movement. Just look around and find find movement. If I don't see anything, guys, then you can scold me in the comments as much as you want. But not always are you going to see things. Down, down here, there's a big river that's mostly flooded. So what you want to do is stay clear from the river. And what you always want to do is watch where you're stepping. Find a good s spot where your feet can pivot, like pivot right here like close to the ground so it's kind of not hard for you easy for you to fall and then never do never walk with the binoculars on your eyes cuz people you can fall and hit your face very hard so you want to always stand still while you're using the binoculars 
right there, there was a bird. If any, nobody saw that, I'm sorry. I didn't catch that fast enough. Oh, it's right back in that tree. So want, you want to pull your eyes close to the binoculars, like so, and then adjust the gear so it's clear. And there's so many different types of birds in Montana that it's gonna kind of be hard to know which one it is, but you want to find as many colors as you possibly can, and then you want to see a bird, you want to analyze a bird. So there's a bird swooping through the sky right now, but it, now it's gone. I'm sorry, I can't move the camera fast enough. Um, right now, there you can hear right now, probably on off of the camera, you can hear birds chirping everywhere. We can hear them, but we can't really see them, can we? So we should probably look look around. <laughs> Try these tips for for yourself, and I hope they they work very well for you. See you later.